and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jessie. Thank you so much for coming along today. Uh, guys, we're doing a little bit different of a video. This is an announcement video. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, I'm also in a new space, guys. Uh, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> uh, this morning, I fell. I hurt myself. So, guys, I'm in a little bit of pain. Not really uh, wanting to go sit on a hard chair in the kitchen to do this talk with me chat. So... We're gonna chill here, have a little bit of fun. So the big announcement that I have is that we are not moving back to Iowa. If you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, we had plans to move back to Iowa. Currently, yeah, that's guys, that's not gonna happen now. Those plans fell through. This is the second time we have had plans fall through of moving back to Iowa. The first time was actually before we bought this house. We actually had a deposit on a place. We had our whole apartment packed up. And basically what fell through with that is, is when we looked at finances of everything, literally we were going to be $800 in the hole each month. And obviously, you know, that's not going to work <laughs> being negative 800 in your account. You just can't do it. Uh, we thought it was going to work, but then we found out that Jeffrey's job at that time, he could transfer back home. But the fact of he would be taking like a demotion to be able to move back, he wouldn't have been making what he would have with the current job he had at that time. So that was one thing that kept us from going back the first time. Sorry, I got a little bit darker in here. My lamp was making my camera be all weird. So Jeffrey and I both had, the reason we had decided we were going to move back to Iowa is Jeffrey and I both got COVID. We were concerned that if we were both in the hospital at the same time, that who would watch our kids? Because we haven't made a huge support system up here in Wisconsin. So that was a push to move back to Iowa. Well, guys, two things happened. First off, I'm going to say when we decided to, to move back, going into it, when I first talked to Jeffrey about it and everything and I honestly started praying about it and I said God if this is not the right decision for us give me a sign I need to know if, if we're doing the right thing because I was really conflicted because we have so much amazing stuff going on up here we have our own house we have a school Rexley school is very close to us we're financially in a good spot which it's taken a while to get to the financial position that we're in Guys, we're not rich. We tend to live paycheck to paycheck, just I think like most people do. Eventually, I think we'll be out of that phase, but we're a lot better than we have been in the past. Even though we don't have a big support system up here, there's also so much that we can do up here. There's so many zoos that are close by, it's bigger cities. There's more opportunities for not only us, but for our kids. So a lot of that goes into play. So the first thing that happened was the financial aspect. So when we looked at that, it's just not going to be feasible to move back because we would have to rent. I don't want to step a hundred steps back from where we are now. It's just not a good idea. So basically at this point, if we would move back, we would have to rent. Do we want to put ourselves in that position with everything that we have? We thought like maybe we could buy a house, but honestly, realistically, we're just not in the financial position at that point to go and buy another house. Plus, we don't have an, enough equity on this house to really help us into getting to a different house. And we don't have like a down payment to really do so. So that's not really an option. We would have to rent. So the final deciding factor that I saw as a sign we started telling people we were going to move back. We started like packing stuff up. And then all of a sudden we got a letter in the mail. Our house payment is going to be going down $200 guys. That's a big chunk of change. I know some people might not see that as a big chunk of change, but for a, um, my husband's the main provider for our family. I don't have a job. I'm a stay at home mom. So $200 is a lot of money <laughs> for our family family of five with one income. And so I took that as a sign with everything else. Jeffrey and I like, you know, sat and thought about everything. And like, honestly, we got to thinking too about 
with moving back, are we truly getting like, cause the main part was support system and we got to think about it. We always call Iowa the ex-girlfriend because we think of all these good, happy moments. But then when you're back, you just realize like how she did a journey basically. <laughs> like, we love it. There's a lot of things we enjoy. We like our family, but at the same time, sometimes having family at a distance is a good thing. It helps with your relationships. Being close by sometimes is not the best. Love you guys. If you're family and you're watching, don't take that offensively, especially for me because I am a very, like, I love having people around on my time. And part of that is my Asperger's. If you want to go watch my video where I talk a little bit about me having autism and Asperger's and kind of explain some of that stuff, I will leave a link down below for that, for you guys for that if you want to go check that out. But one thing I've loved about being up here is that I can be alone if I want to. And I don't offend anybody by that because they're not here to be like, Oh, well, I wanted to hang out or like, I wanted to see you, but because guys being around people can be great, but it is so exhausting. I, if I'm around people, it takes me a while to recover afterwards. I'm like, usually it's funny. Cause in August we had Jeffrey's brother's wedding. When Jeffrey and I both got in the car, I was like, I think I'm good for like a while of, see of, of like seeing people. Just, it was so exhausting being around. I loved seeing, don't get me wrong, I loved seeing everybody, but it was so exhausting mentally for me. But it was still a good time. Anyway, it's, the longer we stay up here, the deeper our roots get. There's just so many things about Wisconsin that we love and giving up would be hard. One of them being our house. This house has almost everything that I want and need. I mean, could I see us moving eventually in the future? Yeah, I probably could. But could I also see myself living here forever? Yeah, I could. Not saying that we won't ever move because I don't know what the future holds for us. But for right now, this is where we're at. This is where we're happy at. I know I think that a lot of our family is going to be disappointed and our friends that we're not moving back. At the same time, I feel like if somebody wants to have a relationship with you, they don't have to, you know, you don't have to be right there. I have kept quite a few relationships uh, with some friends from back home, even though we haven't been there and they have consistently came through and continue to talk to me, ask us how we're doing. And one of the reasons I do this channel is also so that family back home can see the kids see them grow feel involved even if we're not there i know like for instance my dad my dad loves watching my videos because he can see the kids but yeah uh we're not moving back to iowa a little bit of disappointment i know my dad's disappointed because he wanted to be able to see the kids more often but you know what dad i love you you can make your way up to wisconsin you still haven't come to visit me yet Guys, tell my dad down in the comment section, he needs to get his tushy up to Wisconsin and come visit his daughter. We've drove to Iowa a few times, twice now. Twice to come visit you. It's your turn to come up here. <laughs> Ultimately guys, we've chose that this is the best decision for our family. And that's honestly, you can't, I've come to a point in my life where I've learned you have to do what's gonna make you happy. You can't live off of what other people think is gonna be best for your life. As long as you're not harming anybody and you're doing something that makes you happy, go for it, you know? We're just following our hearts, what we feel like is best for our family and ultimately staying in Wisconsin that's what's going to be best for our family. I would like to go back to visit Iowa more. Um, and that's definitely in the future of us going back and visiting more often, but we're just not going to be moving back. Um, another small little announcement. My oldest guy, Ruxley, is not going to be doing virtual school anymore. He will actually be going to back to in-person school, which is actually really exciting, guys. I think it'll be really good for him. Currently the setup they have for virtual is just not a good environment for what he needs. He'll be able to get so much more help and um, they have so many, so many more resources. One of the things we've been really disappointed in um, with him doing virtual school, they don't do music class, they don't do art class, and they don't do gym class. Also one of the things that really bothers me is 
They go from 8 o'clock to 9.30. They're supposed to go to 10, but they get off at like 9.30 basically every day. And you can't tell me that a kid is learning everything that they should within that smushed amount of time. I also feel like it'll be better for him in person because a lot of his things he feels rushed on. And so we struggle with that a lot. So I think it'll be good for him because he'll be able to have more time to work on his little things. We ordered him some dinosaur masks. So I think he's going to be super excited about that. I know he's not a big fan on masks. So we're kind of, that was the whole reason of him doing uh, virtual over in school is the mask situation. We bought him a couple different types. We're going to see how it works. Worst case scenario, he ends up having to go back on virtual. But we really think in person is going to be a lot better for him. So on Friday, I'm going to have a grocery haul for you guys. So make sure you go check that out. I actually had to go get him some stuff because where he's going from virtual to in-person, he has to have, you know, certain school supplies for that. So all of the stuff I had to buy for him will be in that grocery haul. Um, also, guys, so I didn't post like some, if you're not following me on my Instagram, I'll put a little thing right here and I'll link it down below for you guys like I always do. Go check that out. I usually post, like, I didn't do it this week, but most of the time I try at the beginning of the week um, to post, like, my schedule of what my videos will be for you guys so then you have an idea. I mean, I'm pretty, I, it's usually Monday and Saturday's videos. I don't, they kind of fluctuate. Most of the time, two, Tuesdays are always Taste Test Tuesdays, unless I, I'm doing like an open collaboration where they want to do it on a Tuesday, but most Taste Test Tuesdays, Wednesdays are usually what's for dinner. This week it's different guys. And then Friday is usually, is Friday or Saturday is usually grocery haul. And then Saturdays, that's Monday and Saturdays are usually like my swing video of like, I, I'll come up with some kind of content, like a bake with me, cook with me, clean with me, something around those lines. And then I always take Thursdays and Sundays off. And sometimes my schedule doesn't all work out to have all the videos like that. You know, we have this guy, guys, this week's just been so stressful with everything. And that's why honestly, we didn't have a what's for dinner video this week because Literally, we've been eating just quick, easy meals that I haven't even filmed most of them just because we've been dealing with the not moving. We've been dealing with Ruxley and getting him all scheduled for like going back to in person once the Christmas breaks over. Also, uh, one of the things we've been dealing with is we are going to be talking with our lawyer and we are going to be getting a will drafted up because it's so important when you have kids to make sure that you have a will together. Make sure that your kids go to a family member, a friend, somebody, you know, that you trust because otherwise they can go into the foster care system and I don't want that for my kids. So yeah, we've just been dealing with a bunch of stuff this week and you know, guys, oh, and plus Christmas stuff. We've been doing so much fun Christmas stuff. But yeah, guys, we've been so busy, just so much stuff going on. And I just wanted to make this video because I know I told you guys that we were going to be moving and I even have mentioned, I've mentioned it in a ton of videos that we're moving. <laughs> But we're not moving now. We're staying here in Wisconsin. I am actually really excited though. I think it's going to be best for our family. The kids are excited too. Yeah, it's just a bunch of changes, a bunch of stuff going on in life. <laughs> One thing too that like Jeff and I took into account when thinking about all of this is can't live in fear because you never know when tomorrow is going to be your last day. You need to make sure that you're living every day to the fullest and as much as we're fearful of what could have happened, what can happen in the future, we ultimately have to do what's going to make us happy because, like I said, you never know if tomorrow is going to be your last day. Live every day to the fullest. And so that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to stay here. We're going to be happy. We're going to be so much happier up here, I think, than we would be back home, like I said, with all the things coming into play. It's the best decision for us and our family. Anyways, I've rambled on and on about this. <laughs> Maybe not so much for you guys, but I have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> like I said, 
this week has been just a struggle. <laughs> so much going on. Also guys, this week I will not be posting a video on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I'm gonna be spending that time with my family, but guys, don't worry. I will be vlogging our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, little bits and pieces for you guys. I'll piece it all together, put it into a vlog. It'll be so much fun. It'll be fantastic. You guys will get to see the kids opening their Christmas presents. You're gonna see all the food and nummy and fun stuff that we do. I'm, I'm so excited for Christmas, guys. It's coming up so fast. Three days till Christmas. Blows my mind. I can't believe this year has just flown by so fast. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for being so supportive and being my friends. I really appreciate each and every one of you, I know I don't say that as much as I should, but really guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you that watch my videos and support me and all the love you show me. You have no clue how much it means to me. Also guys, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we will see you guys after the holidays in my next video, which will be my grocery haul, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, please give this video a big thumbs up, press that like button, subscribe to my channel, click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.